what has surprised your team about you or what is, what is the things that are private that you might not show publicly that they the, they comment on? I don't know if it, I, I, I'm, well, I mean, one of my team, I, I guess actually going back to one of the initial points, what, what, you know, my CEO, uh, we have to quickly call about something like that and, uh, or uh, quickly call about something. And I was like, I, whatever, I was just chatting with him and I was going to the dinner, I was going to dinner and, you know, I was, as I was getting in the car, he's like, look, he's like, are you in a, are you in a phantom? Like a Rose Rose phantom. And I was like, I was like, yeah, anyway, so we'll like, and, and, you know, next I was with a very, 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 very important person, you know, in the middle East. And th so I keep a lot of my private life, even though I'm public, I keep it very private. So I guess sometimes my team gets insights into my actual, actual private life. So maybe that, but I just think it's probably, if you join my team, it's not so much what you don't know. It's more reaffirming what you think, you know, mm -hmm. like I am a person who like, I'm, I'm switched on all the time, right. right? Like you, you can message me at any time of the day. And, you know, I will say I'm, I'm very slow to respond sometimes, but it, it, you could call me, you know, my team calls me cause they know if they need something from me, just call me, I'll pick up any time of the day. So things like that, or probably loyalty. loyalty. I'm probably one of the most loyal people on earth because I understand loyalty is black or white. I can't be loyal to two people at the same time. Whereas most people think they can be loyal to two people at the same time. I will tell people openly, I'm like, I have to choose, right? And luckily I haven't been put in any situations where the closest people to me, I, ha I have to choose. But for example, like everyone, a lot of people are people pleasers. And they're like, maybe I can save both relationships at the same time. I'm the sort of person where I'm like, who has, who am I loyal to? The other person, it's unfortunate, but that's it. How do you figure out loyalty? Knowing that it's black and white. Like, how do you figure out people to trust or be loyal to? I'm shared experiences, okay. you know, shared experiences. And this is why sometimes, uh, look, I don't care about other people, but this is why like the people close to me, I call them out sometimes. I'm like, they're not your friend. I call a lot of people, fr you know, I'll be, cause it's just easier to, I'm like, it's a little weird if you're like, oh, my acquaintance, <laughs> right? But like, if I'm being honest, they're my acquaintance. Yeah. They're not my friend. You're not friends with someone until you've actually gone through something. And pe I've, you know, people have proven this time and time again. And the other thing is, I don't expect any loyalty from my acquaintances. If one of my acquaintances, you know, fucks me over, I'm not upset, I'm not emotional about it because you're not my friend. We've not, we've not gone through anything. I haven't proven myself to you and you haven't proven yourself to me in the same way. This sounds horrible. No one on earth is gonna say this. If I have an acquaintance and I have a friend, I don't want to, but if it comes to it and I have to fuck over the acquaintance to save my friend, you're gone. We have no loyalty. Whereas this person, if this person has been loyal to me for three years and has done this and this and this, I will, whatever, I won't say it publicly on YouTube. <laughs> There's a, I will go to extreme lengths. Gotcha. I, and I have gone to extreme lengths to protect me and protect the people I love. If you enjoyed this clip, watch the full episode right over here and don't forget to subscribe.